Williams? Yes, sir. With a Ja, Jean. <laughs> In 98, when I was about six or seven years old, I started doing karate at a place called Rising Sun Karate. And the base style there was Shotokan Karate, and then it moved into a blended system of many other arts. I stayed there for about 14 years. It took me nine to get my black belt, and then I started teaching after that. I uh, trained in Jeet Kune Do, Muay Thai, Savat, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Eskrima, and just a bunch of other stuff. Um, I promise you there were a lot of times where I wanted to quit and stop. Um, sometimes it was my parents that made me say, no, you're going to karate. And a lot of times it was just like, I, I need it. I started getting black belts and ranks and promotions and stuff like that. Um, but more importantly, I started to learn and understand how my body worked better and felt way more at one with my vessel. And now I feel like I can get it to do whatever I want whenever I want it to do it. And that's exciting. Everybody's flames look different. It's, it's like your spirit going through your prop into the flames. What's going on in your head when, when those props are on fire? I'm just thinking, ah, I'm on fire. But when I actually hit a flow state and I'm not thinking is when I feel the best in my flow. I just, I don't even know what's going on. Afterwards, you couldn't ask, if you asked me what I did, I'd have no idea what happened. I want to be able to live in my art form or live in the movement. I want to find a way to help people while I do it, and I want to find a way to do it all the time. I'm not sure exactly how that is going to come together, but we shall see. An artist is going to create no matter what's going on in the world around them. Yeah, just keep on flowing. <laughs>